let's say that we had this particle A here and it was acted upon by two forces that were both four newtons. These two forces had the same line of action but were opposite in direction. While one force is trying to pull the particle one way, the other force is trying to pull the particle the opposite way. We can see that the net result of these forces on particle A is zero. We can conclude that this particle is in equilibrium. But what does that mean? Well, when the resultant of all the forces on, a, on any particle is equal to zero, we can state that the particle is in equilibrium. This is the first condition of equilibrium. So, how can we graphically see when a particle is in equilibrium? Well, let's say that we had several forces acting on particle A. We can arbitrarily call these forces P, Q, and S. If we use the concept of the polygon rule that we learned a while back and added each of these force vectors in a tail-to-tip fashion, we'll notice something very interesting. The last vector added, which was S, has its head back at particle A. The three vectors all lead back to particle A. If you remember from previous lectures, we usually had a resultant force that would start from the particle where we were studying and go to the head of the last vector added. This told us that there was a resultant vector and it had some value. In our case now, we have no resultant vector or resultant force since all the vectors P, Q, and S all make their way back to the particle. In other words, the resultant force acting on this particle is zero. Since the resultant force acting on our particle is zero, this must mean that all the forces acting on this particle must summate to zero. In other words, the summation of forces P, Q, and S on this particle must equal zero. If we know that the summation of forces on a particle need to equal zero in order for the particle to be in equilibrium, then we also know that the summation of force components of each of the forces in the x and y directions must also equal zero. And if you want to tap into particle equilibrium in space or in a three-dimensional situation, then the summation of forces in the z direction should also equal zero. We can use this concept algebraically to verify if a particle is in equilibrium. Let's say that we have this particle A that is being acted upon by forces P, Q, and S. If we break down each of these three forces into their x and y components, we can easily see that in order for particle A to be in equilibrium, the summation of components in the x direction of all the forces need to be equal to zero, and the summation of components in the y direction of all the forces also needs to be equal to zero. In other words, the summation of forces in the i direction need to equal zero, and the summation of forces in the j direction also need to equal zero.